Being an artist is being free, and when you're free, you need space. You need right. to have a goal in your life. You need yeah. to have you know what your purpose, what you're in the world for, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. just to enjoy, have fun. We have to make sure mm -hmm. we, you know? we leave something in this world before mm -hmm. we leave the earth. We still have to make sure. Mm -hmm. That's mostly why I, you know, I quit my college just to focus on this. And today I'm so proud of doing what I'm doing. Right, no doubt. Yeah, because you took a chance and you went out on. Faith. Oh, that was that's the thing I keep saying to people like. It's all about the faith. Yeah. How strong your faith is. Mm -hmm. Not just using the words, yo, I believe in God, mm -hmm. or I'm faithful what I do, mm -hmm. I'm you know, I'm you know, I'm this to my wife. It's not that. How faithful you to your own self. Mm -hmm. How strong you believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly. When you get that, man, you're ready to go. How you doing? Why are you, buddy? I'm doing great. Looking damn good, man. <laughs> We're in the humble abode of Jojo. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Jojo Art Studio. Of course, I wish I could be normally in the district, but I couldn't have a chance to have a property down there, but I'm just a block away from the... <laughs> from Washington area. Gotcha. So like I'm saying, my name is Jojo. That's my artist name, but formerly known as Joshua Fuqua. So um, I welcome you guys in my studio today and I hope we're gonna have fun and have a great tour around my beautiful artwork. And I hope you love it. I am crazy about it. So you let me you know. <laughs> All right. well, what started you with art? Um honestly oh. is a question that I cannot give a straight answer because I found myself painting. You know, I started to draw early age and when I was in nursing school, my, my teacher was telling to my mom cars, and uh, the shape was so perfect. And when I was around seven, my mom bought me my first tools like watercolors and little brush and from then I get started. Have you had any formal training? Did you go to any school for? Not really. I assume I'm self-taught, and uh, I went. I worked in some um, workshop of major artists mm -hmm. locally back in in Cameroon in Africa, where I learned more skills. But uh, but I already way ahead, you know, in the mix of colors, how to have my own approach of art and all that. But I use the books a lot. In my life. I'm traveling a lot, and most of my trips make me, you know load my experience and all the artists have an, an impact because I believe in the universality of inspiration mm -hmm. and anything I see can be a turning point of uh, a new direction. Yeah. Do you listen to music? A lot. What music do you know you listen to? Mostly jazz music. Jazz and uh, some of my research when I do a lot of you know, collage. I like to flow with classical music because it helped my spirituality, you know, get to that dimension of meditation. So is one more powerful than the other? Like is classical more powerful than jazz? Or I believe so. Jazzy for me is like swinging, having fun, you know, when I'm really uh, into uh, uh, that uh, meditation, cooking my brain, trying to bring up something that I understand where I'm coming from, where I'm going to. Mm -hmm. I believe the classical helped me on my on my avenue, on my highway, to control my speed on, the, on that direction. Mm -hmm. Is there like any certain point in time when you're most creative? Like are you most creative? Well, the weather has some, you know, to do with. When it's cold, you know, I like to paint outside. I like to paint on the yard. But when it's cold, I have to put myself indoors. Mm -hmm. It really does affect my production because I like to paint huge canvas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, according to the studio I have in my basement here, I'm gonna see like a seven feet by, for instance, three. So uh, it does have something. But when I'm in some area like down in Florida or maybe in Africa, I don't have that kind of influence of seasoning. You know? 
Being an artist is being free. And when you're free, you need space. Okay. And being art for me is just like, I don't have no limit. If my canvas is not enough for me to paint, I can just maybe paint on that next wall or on that branch, you know. Just try to put it out there. So painting outside for me. Also, I like to see people, you know, mm -hmm. does that sun, you know, just the daylight, just the nature, this oxygen, you know, mm -hmm. the wind breathing that oxygen. I believe we part of the nature. We cannot just separate us from the nature. I believe it both of me just be out right there and right. in like, the middle of the nature. I want to say. I get mostly my cells in the studio by people stopping, driving by in the colors and stopping just like wow. Like this lady is stopping early today and she uh -huh. been meaning stopping for long and then she finally did it today and she left a deposit that. yeah on a, on a piece out there which Because the question I I just want to put it this way. I let people describe what I do, but I do a lot of mix medias and cubism and I'm trying to explore the wealth of the brain of human beings. I'm just trying to just trying to focus on one particular style that people might collect a lot, which I might make a lot of money out of it. When something comes out of my brain I'm just laying on a canvas and I realize how really intelligent and wealth we as human beings, we are, and we just need to explore our knowledge, our wealth, in that direction. Critics will say, Jojo, we believe you do a lot of this, a lot of that. Mm -hmm. But me personally, I leave the, the world, you know, give a kind of direction, the kind of work I'm doing. Right. Yeah, I'm just express myself. Yes. You know, God's always going to be there for you. We've been doing this for a long time. About how many homes do you think have JoJo's art in it? Oh, 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 oh. 
thousands of homes. Thousands. You can best believe in the museum as well and some galleries all around the world, honestly. I can think I think I have art in the five continents because I've been I've been traveling and I have uh, people I met in uh, Europe, Africa, Asia. I'm in the United States for the past going four years now and I think yeah. So what brought you here? Well, why not the United States? Exactly. Uh, it's still art brought me in the United States. I, I, I came here in the United States early 2000, middle of 2002, and by the mayor of the city of Miami, Florida, to, to perform an art show. And since then, I realized people was collecting my work a lot in the United States. So, and the Foundation for Democracy, which is an uh, NGO supporting, you know, mm -hmm. a democracy and all that uh, youth program in Africa. Uh, how to support me to have my integration in the United States. Do you find yourself having to educate the public about anything, like through your art? That's a very interesting question uh, because I find that a lot of people have to be educated, mostly in art, and um, is a great need, you know, because mostly what I do in my studio is not just so $200, they go to cash, but I have a blessed day. Mm -hmm. I realize a lot of people have confusion about what art is. They pretty much want to feed up, fill a space in the wall, which is not really for me the main purpose in art. People have to understand art is a book. A painting is a book and you have to go through the painting, take that tour and take that trip, the journey and realize what was the artist was about because it's only about just put colors on canvas. There's some techniques over here that people like a lot. I could just floor this art, this studio with the sun you know, color scheme or have a printer and just print it out and just make right. money out of it. Yeah, and um, people need to be part of, you know, exhibition, meet with the artists. I know sometimes it's kind of hard because the, the middleman cuts you right off. But go to shows, mostly at a reception, artists are there, talk to them and understand what the art is about. I think people really need to be educated. For, in terms of everything that you're doing, ultimately, how would you like, uh, for JoJo to be? I mean, what, uh, a bigger place doing this, owning your own gallery maybe? Sure, yeah, yeah. owning yeah. my own art center with mm -hmm. people just working through and you know, mm -hmm. pretty much I haven't signed a contract with nobody. Uh, uh, and I have a lot of people who are just trying to, you know, to mm -hmm. do that kind of stuff. But I'm like, you know, by the time, when the time get there, I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, because so, sometimes it puts you under pressure because you need to come, come, you, need, you, need, you need to hit some goal. You sign some paperwork and you have to go for that. Mm -hmm. And I like to leave you free mind. You I know? was getting ready to say, what type of offers have you have people offered you? I mean, what type of opportunities have you? They've been offered? like, they want to be my broker. You know, mm -hmm. they're gonna get some like six to five percent, and I'm getting thirty five things like that. <laughs> really? And I feel like, thank you, sir. I, I, you know, I sleep over it. I mm -hmm. give it to my attorney. And you, how, how can you even talk ask to you. some shit like that? Yeah, you that, know, I'd rather, I'd rather do shows, give my art away, because at least I'm building a strong relationship mm -hmm. with my collectors. Mm -hmm. You know, I build my own family. Mm -hmm. Instead of just being hiding in the basement, somebody's out there mm -hmm. getting all the prize because of your work. You, know? Right. you know, it's not easy doing this. Yeah, of course not. Yes, well, Jojo, but, how, did they ever justify the... The ratio and that shit? No, they've been telling you, like, you know, how hard it is to be, being an artist to make, make it, you know, I have the connection, I know people. I said, I know people too. Yeah. You don't know me? Mm -hmm. right. How you know I don't know people? Mm -hmm. And most of the people, I said, you see me on the side of the street, you got me wrong. Mm -hmm. I know Jeff Bush, he know me, he can call me. Mm -hmm. He can give me the money if I need. I said, Jeff, listen, I'm broke, but we artists, we humble. Yeah, you no know doubt. what I mean? No mm -hmm. And this is the thing I did with, 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 with and, and Williams, Come out of the office. When I met him in the first place, he drove on Missouri. I was driving there to do my art on Sunday. He was like, wow. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing my thing on the side of the street. Mm -hmm. He was like, I wish a lot of brothers would be doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Then he cut me a check. It helped me. And listen, I'm doing my right thing, you know. And I don't want to be driving a fly Maserati to say I'm the artist. Right. I am the one, you know, right. because I have a fat bad account. No, mm -hmm. we need it. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. We need it. Mm -hmm. But we still need to be humble. Yeah, no doubt. That's all going to help you know, cross that bridge. Mm -hmm. Because we educator and anything we do on we do it for a purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, if I was needing money to be survive, I I'm supposed to stop painting today because I'm not hungry. Mm 